is up ladies and gentlemen it's pop jelly bean i am back today we're going to show you how to clean an interior that already exists in the game i'm currently at the shamrock half house which i'm going to be turning into a settlement now i've learned this from trial and error <laughs> a lot of trial and error so the first thing what i usually do is i come down here to your layer section what i'll do is i'll Right here, if you look at the little eyeballs, what the little eyeballs will do, they will turn layers on and off. Uh, internal settlements are made up of several different layers, like one will have markers, as you can see, markers, light box, FXs, and all that. So what I will be doing is, what I usually do is I come over here, I click on the little eyeball. I'm going to move this down so we can see what's going to happen here in the render window. So I type on the light boxes. The light boxes are gone. Then I click on the markers. The markers are hidden, and then I hit. So basically what I'm doing by turning off these layers is I'm making sure that while cleaning and turning this into a settlement, I'm not uh, deleting anything that is important as far as maybe quests or stuff that is in the settlement. So FX, Black Plains. So basically, I have everything turned up. Now, what you're going to see, there is still going to be stuff that is showing. What you simply do is you click on it. Now, what I suggest you do, I'm going to close that, is come over here to View, Re Reference Back, Batch Action Window. Open that up and just have it off to the side. What this will do is if you click on something and you notice in here, you'll see what that item is. This way you know that if it is important, like you say it's a follower trigger or anything like that, you know it's important. Now, just click on it and double tap your number one key and that will disappear. Now you know you're safe with that one. And then we have another one down here. So we're going to click on that. We're going to check in our batch action window and we're going to see that it's a default activated cell trigger. We don't want to mess with that. So again, double click on your one key. And then we have one more box over here. We're going to just check that. Okay, that's a package location primitive. So we do not want. And what we notice when we do click on it, look at these little arrows. So this is actually attached to something within that interior cell. So you just double click your one key again, and it's gone. So that should be all your markers turned off. So now what we can do is we can now go inside and start cleaning up a little bit. So there's two ways that you can clean up. First of all, we're going to work in this little area right here. Now, I want to keep the walls. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of the garbage. And another way you can turn off markers. See all these markers here? There's another way. If they are still shown, another way that you can turn off those markers is you simply press the M key. By pressing the M key, it turns off all those markers. So now you're just left with this little bit of a mess. Now, what I do is, and I make sure, and I learned this from trial and error, is I do not delete. I highlight everything I want to clean up, but I do not delete it. The reason why is because sometimes that will mess with your previs and your precoms. So you're going to be looking here in your batch action window to make sure that you're not getting any uh, markers that may be in the area. So you're going to highlight a bunch of stuff. Once you have that all highlighted, come over to your bat batch action window and right down here, set initially to disabled. Then what you're going to do is you've got all this stuff highlighted. You're going to press do. Press do a couple times to make sure. Then you're going to click into the frame. And then you're going to hit the Z key. And as you can see, by pushing the Z key, I have this arrow that is in blue with the arrow pointing up and a circle. Hold your left mouse key down and just simply drag it down out of place. So now that is all gone. And you're just going to continue doing this throughout the whole settlement to get it all clean. Now, what we're going to do, because we're working in this little area, is we want to keep all this stuff. But 
say you want to get it cleaned up. A simple way is for the floors, you just double click on. Oh, I might get in the doorway. That's why I keep the batch action window open is to make sure that what I'm clicking on does show up. So there we go. We got the floor. You're just going to double click on the floor. Then this box is going to come up. What you're going to do is you're going to come over here to Extra, Material Swap, and just hit Clean. Now, another way, like say you don't want the wooden floors. You want a different kind of wooden floor or any kind of floor. Like say you want to do like deco, marble, or whatever. Come up to the Edit window. Come down to Search and Replace. And just give that a few minutes to come up and now what it does for is it gives you what you're searching for and what you want to replace it so if you do want to replace it it's just a matter of going through the list here and just you know finding whatever you want so we're going to look for deco floors now like i said 90 percent of you doing anything in this creation kit or that is actually looking for stuff. So what we know is we're working with, because we're looking here for search for, we know we're working with floors only wood. But like I said, we want to replace it to uh, say a deco. So what we're going to look for again is the floor only. But this time instead of wood, we're going to be looking for deco. So if you click on that, hit OK. One object place, okay. And that is how, one, you can change the material of the item simply. And two, how you can search for something and actually replace it. That will work for walls, pillars, everything. So we're gonna just double click on this. I'm gonna clean this up. I'm gonna go with red. And you just basically go through the whole interior just the way I'm doing it. And by the time you're finished, you'll be able to do that for all of this. Make this all nice, brand new, looking really sharp. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's just a little basic breakdown of how to clean and material swap and search and replace items in an existing interior cell. So like, say you find one you want it, you want to clean it all up. Come into the creation kit and do that. And that is how it's all done. So if you've enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. The algorithm will love you. I'll love you. Everyone loves you. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Move your mouse a little to the right. And hit that bell icon so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. And always remember, wherever the journey takes you, may the road rise up to greet you. I'm Jellybean, and thank you so very much for watching.